What's up everybody? Welcome to Academy of Aperture. My name is Keith and today we're going to be talking about user generated content or UGC. So the big question is what is UGC? This is user generated content which is generally photos or videos created with a brand specific in mind i.e. advertising for that brand but created by the consumer and customer rather than the brand itself. Along with the photos and the videos there's other things as well which can be classed as UGC such as reviews, podcasts on that and other various things. Sometimes with UGC content it's published directly direct on the creator's platform such as TikTok, Instagram, Facebook and other times it's just created sent to the uh, the brand itself and then the brand posts it. So there is a variety of different UGC content which people create such as unboxings, testimonials, reviews and all of that can be encaptured in one video image or other various review testimonial online. Generally with UGC content it feels and looks more organic than the brand creating the content themselves so it looks more not professional it's a bit more personalized as well so people can relate to it when they're flicking through TikTok because generally when you flick through and you see a high quality brand video you're normally going to skip because you think it's an advertisement. Obviously with UGC stuff it is an advertisement but it's created in a a user style rather than the big production value so it looks more organic when scrolling through TikTok, Instagram, Facebook and they share that video. So the main aim of UGC content is to create the content to showcase, promote the brand, service, product, whatever it is but have the video seem authentic and genuine from the actual creator who's doing it rather than from the brand itself. Normally with the UGC stuff, it is a paid video, photo or review or testimonial, something like that. The brand will get in touch with the user and they will pay them the money to create the content, which is then shared by the user and or brand. UGC is used across all stages of the buyer's journey and using this content is helping to potentially create an engagement and conversion to a sale or a product buy. The videos can be used all over such as social media, landing pages, email marketing and so much more. Due to there being that many brands online and products here, products there, advertisements and all of that sort of stuff, it's quite hard for brands to to break through the, the market and have their products shown to people. And because there's that many brands, people are very specific about who they buy from and people who seem genuine and that sort of thing so using this UGC content that is basically helping the brand to become more genuine and getting those conversions across. When it comes to stats apparently 50% of people believe that watching UGC content is so much better and so much more genuine than the actual brand product thing that they would spend a lot of money on for a professional video. As a result the companies that use UGC have a higher rate of sales and products sold due to this. I'm going to be going over some of the steps that you can do as a content creator to take steps into starting to create UGC content. Some of the main questions that people ask is how do I land a UGC brand content creation that's going to pay money? First things first you need to set up a portfolio of either images or videos or both so you can send them to brands to try and get you to be signed. If you've never done it for a brand before all you have to do is pick something that you already have or already use and just create some content based on that. So if you to just look around and see what was around you and you can do some videos on that like this man for tripod so I could create some photos and or a video based on this tripod just to sort of say about the, the selling points so it's very easy to, to use easy to put together very portable it's got the ball head so you can twist it around and you do that in a video and you add that to your portfolio so when people ask you about um, what sort of things can you do if they want a product video for a product that they're selling you can say look I've done a video on this this tripod here so or this is the kind of style that I will go for. Doing this, it gives the brand something to look at and to see what sort of work you're gonna provide for them and to see whether it's worth their time working with you to get the images and video that they need. When creating these videos and creating the portfolio, I will go with something that you are interested in and that you're looking to do in the near future. So for example, if you are hair and beauty, then you can do hair and beauty products and do some videos on that. So when you approach brands or you get to a point where brands are approaching you, you can say, this is my health and beauty and hair product videos and styles that I produce so this is the work 
and kind of work that you're going to be getting from it or if you're into tech and gadgets and whatever else then just create content based on that just so you've got that in your portfolio so you can send to them and get the jobs a lot of people on the UGC content creation sort of websites and stuff like that they use the free website on Canva you can go on there you can create a website it has to be you can do it for one or two pages you can just put a little bit about yourself and just put some videos some images and also you can go from there like if you want to put prices on you can put that on or you can just sort of have a little brief bio and use that as a portfolio without any prices another way that I use personally is along with the Canva I have a YouTube playlist for UGC videos and I, I can send that to anyone and that's a different style of UGC content that I can create once you have that portfolio now it's time to get some work and get some money so there's a, a whole variety of different things that you can download on your phone so for example here I have um, Influi incense and there's lots of other UGC platforms that are that are available for people to use some of them only provide products for payment so you won't get paid your your amount that you want so 100 pound 100 dollars whatever you want per video you wouldn't get that it's only to do with you get sent a free product you can do a video and or photos on that product and then you get to keep the product so if that's your sort of thing that you want so you want some free stuff to uh, to promote then there's a lot of other apps for that however one of the apps that is worth using is the incense app i still use that even to this day and getting paid jobs and there's sometimes that there's jobs on there which is paid for via product but the product is like a, a 200 300 dollar or pound product which is worth getting so it's if it's something that you think you would use then fair enough you can um, apply for that product and get the product so uh, there was one the other week for a mattress so if you're looking for a new mattress and this seems interesting to you then you can get that mattress for free do the video and you have your new mattress but the thing with the apps is a lot of the companies they have a set budget in mind so they'll say i've got something for 50 to 100 dollars then you have to submit a bid for how much you're willing to accept for or producing content so it'll have requirements such as a 20 to 30 second video in a vertical format and it could be edited could be unedited could be with music subtitles etc it'll give you all that in the description and obviously that's how you weigh up how much you want to charge for whatever work is needed but sometimes with the apps there is few and far between jobs that come available and sometimes when you bid for them people may bid much less so if there's one for a hundred to three hundred dollar if you think you're worth three hundred dollars someone bids in a hundred dollars generally the company is going to go for the hundred dollar one because it's a lot cheaper fair enough the quality and content may be not as good but they could get essentially three videos for the price of one for you so that's the only thing to sort of worry about but then if you want to go to the complete opposite and you want to take full control of your prices you could go for the canva route which is your portfolio and has your prices on you can reach out to companies on instagram on facebook on wherever and just say hi i'm a ugc creator and um, i'm looking to work with companies to help promote their products and create ugc content here's my portfolio i think my style and and look will be in line with your product or service which you are wanting to promote i'll be happy to do it these are the prices that i charge for certain videos certain video lengths and that sort of thing that's one way to do it to reach out to the companies but a lot of the time is you can send hundreds of emails or messages via your instagram and you might only get two or three replies and some of them will say no it's fine we have our own in-house people that do that or whatever so the other route to go down is by the fiverr route over the last couple of months this is where i've got the majority of my work from on fiverr so i created a profile on there went through added um all of the attributes put on saying I was a content creator this 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 then you can put up one video I believe and a couple of photos so for the video that I chose it went for the one that I thought would be best for a general audience to see rather than like very specific niche then what happens if you want to add more videos on once you've created jobs for people when they leave feedback you can attach that video so people can see the other videos that you've created for different clients so you can have multiple videos on your profile and obviously on the profile you can have a link to your Canva which has got more videos once you've got your profile set up you can create a item essentially which you're going to sell and within that item you can create different tiers available for different products so the way that I've done it is I have a video for under 15 seconds a video for 15 to 30 seconds and a video for 30 to 60 seconds so depending on the clients needs they can have a video specific for them for the specific time because some of them may have just a product which needs a very quick video so that'll be in the lower price bracket some of them need a lot of information delivered across to the 
the watcher of the video which is going to be in the 30 to 60 second time due to the, the fact that you're having to speak all of this amount of information. So I created this account, created this profile, created these jobs and just set it onto active and that was available to do the work. Didn't do anything else and then within I think it was about a week I had someone message me saying oh I want to book a video for this job, these are the details, blah blah blah, would you be happy to do this? I said yeah, let's do that. He applied for the, the job via this way, I accepted it, created the content, sent it across and then that was it. Once your video gets approved, there's I believe it's about a week or so before the funds are available in your account, then once those are available you can withdraw them or you can just leave them in there until you get a, a larger amount and withdraw it all together. So that was so so easy to do and with Fiverr being the website it is, they take a small percentage cut of the, the work as well. So if you're charging $150, you're not going to get $150, you're going to get slightly less because Fiverr will take a certain percentage of that money to basically host your gig and be the middleman in between it all. So yeah, hopefully this helps so you can get a, a general grasp on what UGC content is, where to go to create a portfolio, how to create a portfolio, and then how to go from there to get more paid jobs. If you like some more information on this, I'll do some more videos, such as actually creating the content itself. How do you create it? Do you use a phone? Do you use a camera? Do you use what sort of audio? And then how do you deliver it, edit it, and all that other things? So that's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. And if you're not already, remember to subscribe to the channel, leave a comment on the video, and even give the video a like. Apparently, that helps with the algorithm, but I'm not too sure. So let's give it a like and see how it goes. Until next time, see ya.